this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a photo background, which is to uh, take a photo that uh, we want to put up uh, sort of like in a scrapbook or something like that. And we want to create a background so that we can place that photo inside of that background or over top of it. But we want the background to be reflected uh, uh, from, you know, from the actual photo itself. So like the colors and sort of a bit of the scheme of the photo is reflected into the background. So the way that we do this is uh, here with a nice uh, colorful uh, photo obviously uh things that are that have a lot of photo in a lot of colors in them will, would work best so pictures outside people in the park and so forth or something like this would work quite well and uh, what we want to do here is uh select here our single row marquee tool we want to use the uh, the horizontal one for now and what we want to do this all this does is if you just click on it it just makes one selection that's one pixel high if we zoom it right in and I'll make a selection. You can see that it's just making a selection just one pixel high across the whole width of the photo, right? So you want to select the part of the image that uh, has uh, quite a lot of photo, uh, quite a lot of colors. It doesn't matter where you are on the thing, but for example, here's something like this. This wouldn't be too nice over here because there's a lot of white here. So we want to select an area that has quite a lot of colors. So something like this, I think, would do quite well, or somewhere around here would also do quite well. So I'm just going to uh, select right here, that's fine. And we're going to do a Control and J to copy that. And now we have a very thin selection. You can probably barely see it right there. Very thin selection. And what we want to do is just uh, uh, making sure we have that layer selected. We want to increase that. So we want to do a Control and T to, uh, this is a free transform tool, uh, quick transform. And we want to hold down Shift and move that up to the top and also shift and move that down. So there we are. So we're just filling the whole thing up top to bottom with that's just one pixel being stretched. So essentially we're stretching just the color, right? We're going to go ahead and click OK, unview that, go back into our background layer. And now we're going to select the uh, vertical one. And again, we want to select an area with quite a lot of colors in it. So something like this would do just fine. And we're going to do the same thing. Control and J, Control T, and then Whoops, there we are. Hold down shift and move on both sides. There we are. Okay, so now we got both. We got that one and that one. And uh, there are a few ways that you can combine these two. For example, you can change the uh, you can change the opacity here with your move tool. You can press five in your number pad key and you can change that to 50%. So one is showing through to the other. Or you can play around with like uh, overlay or screen and so forth and uh, do a bit of uh, playing around. I think I'm going to select here uh, overlay for the two here so it looks quite nice. You can even change it maybe to 100% if you want something with a lot of color in it. I think 50% works quite well. Okay, now we want to bring up our image over top of this, right? So we want to double click here on a background layer to transform it into a regular layer and uh, move that up and of course make that smaller, right? Because the whole purpose was to make this the background. So to make this smaller, we're going to do a control and T for the free transform. We're going to lock here uh, in the uh, percentages here, and now we're going to make this, uh, say, 75% smaller so that it fits within the image, or you can even make it 50% smaller. I think I'm going to go with 75 here. Of course, it can be any number you like, right? You can move it. To move uh, here visually, what you can do is just obviously holding down the shift will make it proportional, but if you also hold down alt, then it'll move uh, both, you know, the, the both the edges. So. You can move it proportionally like so. So we're going to go ahead and click OK on that one. So that's a good one. And now we can just add a drop shadow. So we're going to go ahead and add a drop shadow. And the drop shadow, I'd like it to be around here like so. And let's see here. I'll probably increase the size a little bit. And the distance. Distance is fine. So something like that. And maybe change the opacity just a little lower. There we are. OK. So uh, there we are. So we have an interesting photo here with an interesting set of colors as a background, and it's all based on the colors of the photo. So usually what, when you do these things, it will make a lot of sense. It'll seem like the background is actually, you know, it, it just connects. You won't even really be questioning it because the colors are from the photo. It just it makes it seem like it was it was just built for that. And it is. It's a part of the photo that has been stretched out, right? What you can also do uh, for one final step here is you can go into hue and saturation. Uh, you want to apply the hue and saturation layer uh, below your uh, main image, right? So you want to select the, uh, the layer right before 
the uh, the main image here, and we want to add a uh, whoops. Here we are. We want to add a hue and saturation. And with the hue and saturation, there's a few things you can do. Of course, you can change the the colors. Of course, uh, if you don't want to do that, you can also change the saturation depending on what you do with your image. If the colors are not saturated, you can saturate them more. Or if there's too saturated, you can bring them down a notch. And then also you can play around with the lightness. So you can make it darker or you can make it lighter, right? I think in the case of this image here, the most I could do here is uh, perhaps just change a little bit of the saturation um, so that the photo isn't competing too much. So, so this stands out a little bit more like this. But it kind of depends on your personal, personal preference. So you can always click OK on it and put it on and off and see what you prefer. I think uh, something like that works quite well. So we'll leave it like that. So there you go. A really nice background based on the image. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.